Hi, we're Anna Brian Kelly from the Hope Centre in Crumlin. And we're here just to talk to you about seeing Jesus transform lives. And over the last 10 years, we've had the privilege of seeing so many lives transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the salvation that Jesus gives us. And right now, you're just going to get an opportunity to hear about one of those lives. I'm really grateful for the Hope Centre because I started going here I, um, when I was about 19. I have been a Christian all my life. I grew up knowing Jesus and, and loving Jesus and going to church and going to youth camps and all that. But um, when I started college, I found myself kind of drifting away a little bit. Very quickly, I found that the Hope Centre was somewhere that I could really call home, that it was somewhere that the people there were really invested in me and, and, and loved me and they didn't really need me to offer that much in order for me to be important to them. They just knew that I was someone who was coming here to hear about Jesus and that was enough. And it's been five years now and I think it's safe to say that that love and that, that care for everyone that comes in the door, regardless of what they are coming in the door with, is, is still the, the most overwhelming feeling that I have in hope. In those five years in hope, I've gotten the chance to to really deepen my relationship with God, it let me get to know him in ways that, that I didn't get to know him before. It let me expand my, my, my abilities in ministry. I got the, the, big, the opportunities to begin preaching, to work with teenagers again, just to see how, how much hope does for the people of Crumlin and, and for the community and for the people that call hope home. It's been really such a blessing to me. Me and my wife are both so excited to be part of this for years to come because I know that that same feeling of realness, of authenticity and of just an overwhelming love of people and the love of Jesus is what's going to carry this church through for the next hundred years.